Sheops Characterizing Exoplanets Satellite is a planned European space telescope for the study of the formation of extrasolar planets. The launch window for CHIPS is October to November 2019. The mission aims to bring an optical Ritchie Cratian telescope with an aperture of 30 cm, mounted on a standard small satellite platform, into a Sun synchronous orbit of about 700 km altitude. For the planned mission duration of 3.5 years, CHIPS is to examine known transiting exoplanets orbiting bright and nearby stars. Topic. History Organized as a partnership between the European Space Agency ESA, and the Swiss Space Office, CHIPS was selected in October 2012 from among 26 proposals as the first S-class small space mission in ESA's Cosmic Vision program. ESA is the mission architect and responsible for the spacecraft and launch opportunity procurement. The project is led by the Centre for Space and Habitability at the University of Bern, Switzerland, with contributions from other Swiss and European universities. The principal investigator for the science instrument is Willy Benz from the University of Bern. After a competition phase, Airbus Defence and Space in Spain was selected as the spacecraft builder. The mission is cost capped at 50 million euros. Topic. Goals The main goal of CHIPS will be to accurately measure the radii of the exoplanets for which ground-based spectroscopic surveys have already provided mass estimates. Knowing both the mass and the size of the exoplanets will allow scientists to determine the planet's density and thus their approximate composition, such as whether they are gaseous or rocky. CHIPS will be the most efficient instrument to search for shallow transits and to determine accurate radii for known exoplanets in the super-Earth to Neptune mass range 1 to 6 Earth radius. CHIPS will measure photometric signals with a precision limited by stellar photon noise of 150 ppm per minute for a ninth magnitude star. This corresponds to the transit of an Earth-sized planet orbiting a star of 0.9 RSUN in 60 days detected with a s, n transit greater than 10, 100 ppm transit depth. For example, an Earth-sized transit across a g star creates an 80 ppm depth. The spacecraft is to be powered by solar panels that are also part of its sunshield. They will provide 60 W continuous power for instrument operations and allow for at least a 1.2 gigabit per day data downlink capacity. Topic. See also Coro, Planet Hunting Space Observatory operational from 2006 to 2012 Kepler, Planet Hunting Space Observatory operational from 2009 to 2018 List of proposed space observatories Most, Canadian, launched in 2003 Plato, planned for launch in 2026 TESS, Planet Hunting Space Observatory launched in 2018